Inflation economy are top priorities in the Arizona midterm. Races in the state of Arizona, races that are tightening dramatically as Election Day draws near. Let's go to the numbers. According to a newly released CBS News battleground tracker, it is an even split in that state for the race for governor. 49% each for Democrat Katie Hobbs and Republican Kerry Lake. Democrat Mark Kelly has a slight edge over Republican Blake Masters on the Senate side. Now, Lake and Masters have both spread lies about the last election. Ed O'Keefe is in Tempe, Arizona for us this morning. Ed, good morning. Dare I ask, how are those lies resonating with voters? Well, Tony, good morning. Good to see you. As you mentioned, uh, those Republican candidates, others on the ballot also pushing those lies about the 2020 election. And it's one of the reasons why we track things here in Arizona so closely. And yet, According to our new battleground tracker, most voters here say they don't want that to be the main focus of the campaign. When I'm governor, we're going to take a sledgehammer to these damn electronic voting machines. Carrie Lake won the Republican primary for Arizona governor by fully embracing the lie that the 2020 election was stolen. And then they certified a corrupt election. God, that was one of my favorite debates of all time. Also, Arizona is so fucked as a state. What a joke of a state, bro. Holy fucking shit. Can you imagine having these absolute psychopaths and then still being like, yep, no, nope, doesn't matter. And that's the problem. You would not have certified our election. No, I would not have. But now she... What? That's such a dumb, sober young Walter. You should have made a shirt that said all lives matter do that. Nope. Quadrupling down. He's locked in a close general election and not emphasizing that issue as much. We're going to have to do what we did in, uh, in the primary, which is go out and vote and take our friends and get out there and vote like our lives depend on it. Her Democratic opponent, Katie Hobbs, warns Lake is too dangerous for Arizona. All of these um, people that Trump has given his full endorsement to because they support his big lie, they could change the rules and they could... Um, overturn the will of the voters in future elections. But denying the results of the 2020 election isn't a top concern for voters in Arizona. According to the new CBS News Battleground Tracker poll, more than half of even Republicans say it doesn't matter. We have so many votes outside of the law. But it's the main focus for Republican Mark Fincham. He was in Washington, seen here in the crowd on January 6, 2021. And now he's running to be Arizona's Secretary of State. It's a job that <laughs> put him in charge of elections ahead of the 2024. Dude, I love that. I'm sorry. At least American politics is so entertaining. <laughs> Someone said D Doug Dimadome ass. Yeah. Yeah, Doug Dimadome, owner of the Dimadome of Dimsdale. Dimsdale's Dimadome is also an election truther. And he was there at January 6th and he still firmly believes Antifa did it. Brother, you were there. You left Dimsdale and you went to D.C. Potential campaign. That's why there... I'm a threat to the left. And they know they've got somebody who is not going to let go of this. Democratic candidate Adrian Fontes is especially concerned about what could happen if Fincham wins and Donald Trump runs again for president. He may not certify an election that Donald Trump doesn't win in 2024 as well. This isn't the most important election in our lifetimes. It could be the last free election that we have in our lifetimes. Our battleground <laughs> tracker also finds most think abortion should be legal. <laughs> Republicans do that go say less. Say less, King. Love that. And that comes as a judge has reinstated a law dating back to 1864 that ends abortion access in Arizona and with jail doctors performing them. That decision upset longtime Republican Heather Carter so much that she's now leaving the GOP. When you talk to women in Arizona and they share their personal stories one on one, many of them are using this issue as the deciding factor in the 2022 election. Let's go. And in the land of canyons, cacti and the cardinals, just like everywhere else, the economy and inflation are the top concerns. Now, I see it as a businessman that we're going to hurt for the next 10 years. This giant wave that we're on. What fucking business is this guy on? Arizona's letting anybody have a business, huh? Chad, that was a trick question. We know he does HVAC. The fuck do you mean what business does this guy own? I'm obviously joking. It's very obvious what his business is. Immigration is also a big issue of concern here in Arizona. Perhaps no surprise given that border towns continue to see a surge in migrants. And on the issue of the 2020 elections, there's this from the poll. A majority of voters say, the vast majority in fact, say they want the next governor, whoever she is, to accept the results of future elections no matter which party wins.